So I've seen this move done quite a few ways. I have my own unique take on it. It's the far side armbar from side control. Uh, I don't ever do this move unless I have uh, an underhook. So that's number one. I, I need to have this underhook. Now, if I'm gonna go for this move, typically I'll sneak my hand from being here to, to being here because I'm gonna need to pull him up and make this very, very tight. I wanna put a lot of pressure on him right now. And it, Brian, is there a lot of pressure on you right now? Yeah. Yeah, good. So he can feel that I'm putting a lot of pressure on him. And basically all I'm gonna do at this point is put my hand down here. I'm gonna step around his head. Be careful not to knee your partner in the head on this. But I'm gonna step around his head and sit like this, pulling his arm into me. Now, the one thing that I'm afraid of happening here is him hitchhikering out because right now he's got that move. He's got the hitchhiker. So I have to quickly bring my leg over before he hitchhikers out catch him, bring him back, and now I can finish the arm bar. All right, one more time. And there's other ways to stop the hitchhiker, but I just, I just think it's better to be quicker with your throwing your foot over. So again, I'm starting in traditional side control. He's given me the underhook, or I fought for the underhook and got it. Now I'm gonna bring my hand to the other side and really just sort of pull him up by his shoulder here. Now, I just make sure I plant my hand, bring my knee around, and dig it right underneath the shoulder, throw my foot over, catch that arm, and then just finish with your basic braking mechanics. Which, by the way, come here real quick, sorry. For the, for the, for the white belts, you always wanna have your knees squeezing together, right? Pulling your partner in towards you, thumb pointed away from your chest, and then start lifting your hips, okay?